Hello, everybody. So, don't forget to subscribe on the channel. And let's see what we can do about this old dinosaur. Which one is a Volvo uh, S80? We're going to remove a ECU. The ECU is CDC, uh, basically 15.8. It's a yeah, it's its old one MSA unit. Uh, but anyway, this engine has 103 kilowatts on it. It has old V pump, which one is not common rail system. So this is old dinosaur, I would say. But it's good engine, and we already removed the ECU. You can use homemade, like I done a special tool, which one you can see the drawings on the Google how to make it. Uh, another thing, you just use uh, anything what is flat, and you can push these uh, holders away to remove the ECU. So that was the easiest part actually. And uh, now we're going to go ahead and uh, let's go and remove um, the flash memory. The flash in here, as you can see, we have need to a little bit scratch off the pads so we can make sure we have a good contact on them. We remove all soldering stuff off. Uh, I took it out with the fan, which one basically with the hot air just blow it out. Um, what we're going to do now. Yeah, definitely, we need to uh, show where it is, actually, you will not gonna miss it, it's pretty easy to find, actually the same flash is on the common rail systems, and it's located in here, it's a long one, it's uh, got a 29, um, basically 29 AF200, uh, this one is, it's a little bit older one, because the next generation is 400 ones, uh, but anyway, we have to just make sure it's good contact, and we have to install into the program matter. So I'm using a mini prog. Um, you can use any of these ones. It doesn't matter actually, as long as you have this uh, Soy 44 adapter, which one holds in it in a place. Make sure where's the pin one. So that's very important. Even on adapter is showing where's the pin one. All these manual instructions you can find in Google them easy. Uh, now I just open up a, a program basically for a little mini prog. I need to find the right flash for that job so you can recognize it on it so they're all is right and on it's not a problem uh, all of them is recognizable some of them probably is something glued on but you can scratch it off and see what the kind of flash it is so here we go it's a it says soap 44 it shows what kind of flash it's a bb um so actually that's pretty easy just go ahead and look what kind of adapter you need it's so 44 again the first pin so it's easy and uh, you just prepare to read it because you have the read button and uh, then yeah then just make sure you good at contact because sometimes this contact is bad definitely sometimes you need to 10 times to read this flash it all depend on the contact so don't worry about that so we are fitted in AM29F200BB, so it's old version one. So let's go ahead and click the read. It reads so fast, it's a just blink of a sec. Let's read, finish it. So you can do it a couple times actually, like I do. Normally you can read it once and you can see the damp. And what the main important thing is, you need to actually uh, make as minimum two reads to make sure you read it correctly. If you don't go to read correctly, uh, it's going to be a problem, definitely. So we just name it, 2001 car, EDC. Uh, basically, it's, I would say it's EDC 15. It's, yeah, it's a MSA 15.8. It's an old version, but anyway. Um, let's go ahead and uh, read again. So we done it. And uh, now we need to open a hex dump. This is any hex dump programs, which ones compares the files. So there you go. We had read 1, read 2, because uh, we read two times and now we're going to compare them you can click the compare button and uh, anything in any software is which is comparing the files because you need to see actually if those files are identical because this is a mining port if they're not identical that means you need to read it as much as you can when you get them identical read it so you're comparing them and as you can see I am lucky so the chosen files are identical this means there is no differences between the files so that means we can start to work on the file and uh, we can start to uh, basically remap. So we're going to open a Vinos uh, using an original one. I would suggest you to get the original one. This uh, cracked ones is cracked completely. they just making a mess. So let's go ahead and yeah, I'm not uh, very about the, what the ECU actually just is old dinosaur. So just let's put it in in EDC 15. doesn't matter. You know, find some cards, mops. Uh, so... 
you just need to go ahead and do in a 16 bit so you will understand which map will is uh, actually now is the I would say uh, for someone it's gonna be an easy part or someone is gonna be the hard part but actually uh, in here we can see this uh, accelerator driver switch map so in this map uh, we can see the pedal position and the RPM and the needed injection quantity because these maps is showing into the injection quantity not in the Newton meters so there's uh, fault memories there's uh, a lot of stuff uh, which one controls the ECU of course you need probably some kind of super map packs or the, any maps then you can recognize which map it is and which map what does so in this case yeah here we go the driver's wish actually one uh, is got RPM in the X uh, axis and there is a y axis so x axis is pedal position and this one yeah so we go ahead and we can do with a proportional pedal position in the percent so we can see actually each other need a conversation there is a lot of a bunch of videos how to do a remapping and how to use those we know stuff and all stuff like that uh, so just go ahead and do all the things what actually you need um because actually yeah definitely it is a little bit hard to find the way how to do it right and what is the right but anyway the each tuner chooses his own how he owns thinks it's good uh, yeah and uh, it's tested so i usually the same do a test on the dyno because only on the dyno you can see what actually you got and the same you will do on the engine lifetime it's going to be depends how long your engine will survive if the tune is going to be good that means you will survive longer if it's going to be bad it's going to be blow up the engine and all stuff like that so that uh, in that point yeah i will i can't say what is good and what is wrong yeah i'm just doing what i think is okay and uh, the manly thing uh, in these maps is how to do actually correctly uh, these files recognitions so um, in this case you can see always on the 3d marks so you can see the differences in this game I'm the same that done the comparing those ones and uh, see exactly which the EGR maps because those ones is for the EGR pikes is the same like a uh, Vauxhall cars or Opel, any, anyway, uh, PSG 16 ECUs. And here you can see the torque limiter, for example, yeah, exactly how it works, how it does. You can Google it on, it's not a big deal, but actually, uh, you have to make sure that you calculate these ones as much as you can, otherwise, you're gonna blow different way, and it's gonna be a problem, definitely, I would say, for you. So, just make sure, like this old dinosaur, <laughs> I would say, you can do nothing bad with it, but you can blow up something, definitely, but it's not gonna be a big deal because the parts cost nothing so just make sure you're doing a good good things on that that's why I'm supposing to use a just original stuff as much as you can to do those jobs properly and uh, do a good calculation of them so uh, if the map is actually a right one they can be a couple of them in each file so let's make very important things and you need to see how many maps uses using the ECU some of them need to be done for example just the driver switch maps some driver switch maps is already limited up to the maximum so you no need to do nothing with them uh, some 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 ECUs just need to do a torque limiter so there's a bunch of stuff but after that we done the file um, yeah I just loaded in into the mini pro again so it, it can be actually any programmer it doesn't matter at all just which one can do with these flash memories so what you need to do just check again the pins check again all everything is in the right places so not mess up anything and in here we can do i just done an egr and the stage one test so let's go ahead and just uh, click it on and put it in so um a uh, one thing uh, which one is very important before the right chip um you can do a read again but after that just make sure you program the chip correctly because what you need you just open up and program it this is the easy part because in one thing is it's erasing the chip so this is important point it's end up now because you are erasing the chip you are deleting all stuff from that flash memory and then you program in again yours flash so very important to make your own backup and holds the original file because if something gonna go wrong you can always get back and you have a backup plan so I program it twice because make sure I erase it correctly and I program it correctly and after doing this job you need to read again the file 
And I would say, why? You will ask, why? Because you program it, just get it on and go. No, actually, you need to read it again to make sure your file, which one you read it in, is correctly made. So for that reason, we again doing the same file. We need to say was, because we need to get a correct, uh, see if they're different, is there, if, if there is no differences. So make sure you do it right. And you're comparing again the same way like I done before. Just compare them. After you've done all that stuff, after you've written the file in, what you can do now, you can fit this thing back on. Uh, yeah, definitely, is there a lot of stuff how to program this ECU as well. It's uh, without uh, getting out the flash, you can do probably with the pin, boot pin or wherever. But uh, in my, po uh, my, my moment and uh, my case, just I uh, have no different options. So I have to do this dinosaur way, but uh, I like the soldering job. So just make sure you're not uh, heat up, overheat anything in here, because that's very important. Uh, use just a fluxes. I mean that uh, for solder flux to make sure this is not getting a short circuit you have to of course probably clean this all stuff off as well to not leave it on again to prevent anything which can go wrong in here and short circuit is going to make. So just solder them more nice and gently when you're pushing the pins down just a little bit push with the uh, solder end yeah just push them a little bit down and you will get good contact. So thanks for watching leave a like leave a comment and see you next time.